You are celebrating 25 years as a band together. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah. I mean, uh, even though you're brothers, how have you managed to keep it together? I mean, has it gone smoothly all the way, or has there been rough I mean, patches? we were in a big old argument yesterday, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's going. The, the it's going key well. is that you, you, you never stop arguing. Yeah, you know? so that's just the norm? We're really different people. I mean... Ike and I are both wearing suits, but I rarely wear one. You can yeah. see just the way we dress, the way we, the things we're interested in outside of music. We're, mm -hmm. We all have our own little zones, you know? I think, that's, I think that's part of it. And with our families, I mean, we have incredibly close families. The cousins are really close. But I think who we are and the roles we play, yeah. we don't really step on each other's toes that much, except for the fact that we all have opinions about everything. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> yeah. Of course you yeah, do. That's yeah. like, wait, wait, we don't step on each other's toes that much? Yeah, we, we step on each other's toes. <laughs> And we, we all have our own, um, we have our own way of getting there. I think that the, the metaphor would be like, there's an island, we're all going there. We're, we want to get there. But one guy's on a speedboat, one guy's on a hand glider, another guy's on a canoe. You know? yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you guess who's in a canoe. You know? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Here, Phil already knows. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, because you guys know Jordan, my son, and yeah. so you know he's a musician. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you, for parents that are out there that, have a kid that wants to make it in the music business, mm -hmm. what's your advice? Because I know it's tough. I mean, it's, it's not easy. It's oh, not easy to make it, and then no, it's not it's as not. glamorous as it looks. Oh, definitely not. I mean, well, for, for one, I think, that I think you know, despite all of the Cribs episodes on MTV back in the day and all those kind of things, uh, being a musician, especially being a traveling touring musician, which is ha what you have to do to make a living, is actually surprisingly blue-collar blue work. It's a, yeah. very, it's a very day in, day out, wake up early, go to bed late, do it again. If you get into doing it because you believe you deserve the spotlight, or you, you believe you're destined to be the biggest star in the world, and like, the chances of that happening is almost yeah. none. Yeah, exactly. Right? But if you get into it because you have an aspiration to sort of heal people through writing songs about life, and through sharing sort of uh, your, your experience with other people that you care about, then you can almost not fail at that. Like, it's yeah. almost impossible to fail at You're doing that. You're going to find somebody that it resonates right. with. Right, yeah. well, and, and it resonates with you. I mean, really, On like, a person, your, yeah. your On choice to do music, I mean, we would do music to a, you know, a crowd of 10 or a crowd of 10,000. Tell me about your, your Christmas album. Finally, it's Christmas. This yeah. is your second Christmas album. Yeah. 20 years ago, we, we made a Christmas record. And to be frank, our, our uh, partner that we're releasing the record with, Steve Greenberg, that first signed us, he was the first person to say you should do it. And we first thought, oh, gosh, Christmas albums. Um, you know, is that going to be a cheesy thing to do? But it was an amazing thing and to do. Really, and we made really a record fun. called Snowed In. Yeah. And so here, as we were celebrating this anniversary, we really thought, you know, this is the time to reprise this, this idea of a Christmas record. Because the special thing about Christmas records is, one, you're touching on something that so many people have such a strong connection to. Yeah. But also, if you do strike that chord, people do bring it back year after year. And we all know what that experience is like. You have the album, you have the food, you have the bad sweater. Yeah. And so we needed 20 years since the first one to think up enough songs to feel good <laughs> about the next one. Um, yeah. And so it's, it's a little bit rock and roll. It has you know, you know, a lot of covers that are songs we felt like we could do well, like Winter Wonderland and All the Went for yeah. Christmas from Ryan Carey. A little Carey. bit of church in there. Yeah, Absolutely. there's definitely some church in there. And, yeah. um, and then there's Got some original have. songs.